Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Gab Official. Today I'm working on the Audi A1. I'm going to show you how to remove the rear wheel bearing. As you can see I've already removed the wheel. It's a 17mm socket to remove the bolt. And what we're going to do first is we're going to remove this brake caliper. As you can see it's a 15mm spanner to hold the inside nut. It's not really a slap of nut and then also there's a bolt on the outside that's a 13 so you need to hold that one and then release this one to slap in it and take them off and then remove the caliper also if you can't remove it you can also push this down and release the handbrake cable so you can have a bit more movement to actually take the caliper off and i'm going to take the caliper carrier off we're going to take the center bolt out this is going to remove this t i think this is t 30 or 45 tool start talk we're going to move that and then take the whole disc off and then unbolt the rear bearing and then refit the new one as you can see sometimes they're a bit hard to come off so really you're just going to use the lever bar which you just slot it off as you can see there we go so now that's out of the way as you can see what i'm saying not the handbrake cable sort of getting in the way it's not really that far that you can move it and obviously we need to take these two out as you can see it's an 8 mil allen key to remove it because there's lack of space literally you can't use it with a long allen key but use a short one and literally I just use the little power bar and an adapter to loosen it and now I just put a general stand on it just to loosen it as you can see there's two of them I'm just going to remove those and then to remove the carrier out of the way. As you can see, just take that off. Now we can remove the center bolt that's situated in there. As you can see, it's a T30 star torque to remove that little bolt that's holding the disc on. Just remove that. And there's our wheel there. And as you can see, it's a 30 mil 12 point socket when we're using you can see to remove it as you can see this literally just slides off with a little bit of that tub you see that's a genuine article this one's a patent basically copy bar it looks similar That looks slightly different. Let's see. The bolt just sits on that right there. As you can see, now I've got the new one. As you can see, that's the sensor there. This is the real speed. Always and put the bolts or nuts in it by hand first so we're cross cut it just can see the 30 mm socket also on all terminator it turns 80 newton meters plus 30 so 110 newton meters put the bolt through as you can see now it's broken it now I'll just put in Back together. Thank you, thank you for watching. Get official. Please like and subscribe for content.